I'm going to do a quick demo of deploying Hasura's GraphQL engine on database. So we're going to get started with Heroku. We have a one-click deploy on Heroku that will give you a database and the GraphQL engine as well. I set the name for my app and I'll hit deploy. Because of how lightweight Hasura is, this will just take a few seconds to deploy on Heroku. And uh, this will use Heroku's free tier Postgres and, and Heroku's free tier hosting to deploy. So this is already deployed. Let's head to the Hasura UI. Now what I can do is create a table and then start querying it. So let's create a to-do table. Every to-do has an ID, a to-do itself, you know, when it was created and the user that created the to-do. And this is just standard database modeling. Uh, and I can insert a few sample items. So let's say deploy GraphQL app uh, created by user ID one. Now, as soon as I have some data in this uh, database and I've created the table, I can basically start making GraphQL queries on it. So that's the API endpoint. And I'm going to just type out a GraphQL query that's automatically available. So I can fetch to do's, I can fetch their ID. I can fetch the name of the to do, the user ID that created it and when it was created. I can also insert to do so that API is also available and that's called a GraphQL mutation. So I can insert a to do and let's say this is inserted by user ID two. And once a to-do is inserted, I would like to see the ID that's automatically generated as well. So that's a returning ID and I can insert the to-do. Um, I can insert stuff fairly quickly. And now you'll see that this data is there in the table. 